First thing is uh, G string seventh fret, bend, bend, release, whatever you want there. And then the cool part is this little thing where he actually goes into F sharp for a second or a a major pentatonic, whatever you want to call it. But it's um, what is that? 14, 17. You'll see. 14, 17, 19. And then you got your um, unison band at the, what is that, 19th fret? But here, anyways, high E, your A. You can let the notes ring out, or you can. Now, okay, the next part is what I call the poetic license stage. Um, basically, as long as you keep into the, the Eddie Van Halen box, because I've heard him do it a million times and seen it and all that crap. If you stick around in here, you're pretty good as long as you end that section with so it's an overbend a G string on the 17th fret got that cool so I but I think what he's doing is like I haven't slowed it down and I'm not gonna but uh like I think he keeps in this area there's a lot of like uh, speed picking like, at one point, I do know that there's a little... It's like a Gary Moore kind of, kind of thing. But it's here at uh, high E 17 to 14, and then B 15. And as long as you keep in this area... You're fine. So it's pretty open to interpretation. You can do the big stretches the whole way across. Or you can go. Okay, next part, the bins. Blues. Don't be afraid to snap strings. Believe me, I, I did um Out of Love Again, that stupid ass thing. Bent that shit out of the high, high E for four hours straight. Nothing happens. Change a string. I've got a phobia of bending, so bending and, and I'm afraid of breaking strings, especially on the high E. Ah, look, you're fine. Um, so, you got your 17th fret, high E and B. And then what is this? 20, 18, 19, 20. Bend two. It's one of those major third bends, I believe, from G to B. So on the very, so you do that, the big, big bends twice. The second one, or, or the last one. So you just go up to the A. And if you can, hey, try and pinch harmonic that last note. I love this fucking guitar. And then now you're down here in the A minor pentatonic section. Look, I don't know what he's doing there. I just think it's... Five on the B, five on the, five on, I'm sorry, five on the E, five on the uh, B, eight on the B. You just want to make sure that that is your last note. If you ever get stuck for something, just remember the, the, the last couple of notes and make sure to bang those and then no one really cares. Now there's a, there's a, there's a couple of different ways to do this last part. It's basically one of these kind of roll things. So you can do it the, like the dime bag way, which is upstroke on this uh, E fifth fret, and then um, with your kind of with your left hand, there is no picking at all. You just hammer to that eight, pull off the five, and then downstroke on the D string seventh fret. You can go. Get that guy. Now, and what I do, if I'm going to do it there, I've got designated fingers. You can do it with your third finger. Or you can use these two. Like I said, all you need to know is what the very last note is, which is uh, D. Uh, D note, G string, 7th fret, into the E. The 
then the second one is really pronounced. You hear the major. Big slide. And that little growl, and that little scream he does. A string, 17th fret. Cool. I hope that was a good enough explanation. If not, I'll redo it, but it's really kind of fly by the seat of your pants type shit. You know what I mean? Trust me when I say he will not ever repeat that solo exactly note for note ever again. What you got on Women and Children First? Mwah! Beautiful, live, I doubt he played that shit note for note. All right, dudes, peace. <laughs>